こんにちは。Welcome to フリフリキッチン。Today, Sheena is going to make creamy vegan ramen. This creamy vegan ramen is a plant based version of a traditional Japanese tonkotsu ramen. To replicate the rich umami flavor and the creamy texture without animal products, Sina uses white miso paste for its complex savory notes and oat milk to create a creamy consistency with a slightly sweet edge. It's a hearty, flavorful bowl that highlights a vegan take on traditional ramen. Okay, let's get started. First, prepare toppings. The choice of ramen topping is a personal preference. Select a few toppings that you like and customize your own yummy bowl of ramen. Sheena chose pak choy, spring onion, baby corn, mild red chili, mizuna leaves, nori seaweed, and toasted sesame seeds for this creamy vegan ramen. Cut the pak choy in half or quarters. And cook in salted boiling water for about 2 minutes. Drain and cut in the bite size of pieces. Cut the baby corn into bite size of pieces and boil them in salted boiling water until tender yet slightly crunchy for about 4 minutes. Finely slice the spring onion. Slice the mild red chili, cut the nori seaweed into suitable size, prepare mizuna leaves and the toasted sesame seeds. Next, ramen soup and noodles means half a spring onion, about 10 grams. Grate one clove of garlic and a little piece of ginger. Place 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil in a pan, add the spring onion, grated garlic and ginger, turn the heat to medium low and stir fry until fragrant. Add 100 ml of water and 2 tablespoons of sake. And then simmer for 2 minutes to allow the alcohol from the sake to evaporate. Add 300 ml of unsweetened oat milk. Heat until just before it boils over medium heat. And then reduce the heat to low. Add half a cube of vegetable stock. If you use a small cube like oxo, use one cube and dissolve. Add half a tablespoon of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of white miso paste. And dissolve. Add a pinch of white pepper. And one teaspoon of sesame oil. Miso paste and oat milk are sensitive to high heat, so be careful not to boil the broth and preserve its great flavor and smooth texture without compromising. Cook the ramen noodles following the package instructions. And drain well. The information and the types of Japanese ramen noodles are previously featured in the last shoyu ramen video. Check it out if you are interested. If you need it, Reheat the ramen soup, but do not boil, and pour it in a ramen bowl. Add the cooked ramen noodles, 
and arrange the toppings on top. Serve immediately. できた See now, how does it taste? Okay, Sina said. This delicious creamy ramen is packed with flavor and showing off how awesome vegan ramen can be while still keeping that traditional vibe. She wants to eat another bowl. Thank you for watching Fili Fili Kitchen. Arigato! If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. And see you next time. Bye bye! Mata ne!